I got to tell you, uh, I am incredibly proud at the work uh, we have done as a, as a part of this group and the bipartisan effort of folks from different sides came together to discuss these vitally important issues. I, I will say, uh, while this was a bipartisan work group, uh, I had nothing to do with this press conference being at 8.20 a.m. this morning. Uh, and I think every time I, I complained to Joe about that, because uh, I think we originally started at 9, he made it earlier. Uh, so as I left the house at 5.45 this morning, I was thinking about that. Um, you know, we learned through the failure of the MITA system that our unemployment insurance agency here in the state of Michigan uh, has some issues pertaining to how claimants within the system are able to work to address, uh, address uh, their concerns when they are accused of fraud. And the work done by this work group, the over 900 hours that were spent and the research that was done, has really uh, created some, uh, I think, some great policy that will help individuals work through that process going forward. It really will create a more fair process for individuals who are accused of fraud uh, and the unemployment, unemployment Insurance Agency, I've gotten better at saying that over the last few weeks. I think there's three elements of this package that, uh, that definitely help claimants have more access to a fair process. Uh, the first thing is, is currently uh, in law, the agency can look back three years uh, at, um, claim, at claims and make a determination. But those claims can only be uh, opened back up if they're within that one year time frame. Uh, if somebody isn't no a claimant isn't notified until after that one year time frame, this will give them, uh, this will extend that period, that one year out to three years. So this will give them within three years a look back period to make sure they can reopen the case if they have new information uh, pertaining to whether that was fraud or not. Um, the advocacy program is extremely important because currently, as, as Representative Gray said, if you are accused of fraud, you don't have access to the advocacy program. Uh, I would argue that those are the folks that probably need it most uh, to make sure they have a fair shot at adjudicating that, that um, accusation. Um, and the, uh, the third element is the overpayment issue. Currently, if the uh, department determines that, uh, I'm sorry, the agency determines that uh, they overpaid you, you're charged a 1% interest fee, whether it was their fault or your fault from, from that time. And, uh, I would argue that if it's the agency's fault that you were overpaid through some determination they made, you shouldn't be penalized on that. Uh, and, and then the penalties are also an important aspect. I mean, I think it's important to realize in the state of Michigan currently we have by far uh, four, over four times the highest uh, penalties in the nation uh, for folks that go through this process. And uh, this will bring those down 75% to that uh, 100 uh, percent level for your first offense uh, and I think that's incredibly important for folks to be able to at least you know have a fair process and that the penalties are fair at the end of the day.